Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Pyro Glacial as well, so let's begin from his stats. And like you can see, I believe you are agree with me that his stats is totally awesome, okay? Very high attack boost, but remember, to get this number, you need to awaken his passives and learn his Latin abilities. Maybe that's not that hard, but yeah, I simply point that for you. Talking about Latin abilities, I'm not sure whether they affect the Brave Sheep form or not, okay? Because if it affects Brave Sheep form, then wow, it's pretty insane, okay? Because he can get about 300% attack boost, okay? If the Latin abilities affect the Brave Sheep. But even without Latin abilities, his breath shift is already insane, okay? 280%, one of the best attack boosts for a character on this game. And both of the form has have Dragon Killer, so I can say there's nothing really special on normal or breath shift form, okay? They are about the same, so this is good, but also it is not bad, okay? But kinda like variants. If you know what I mean, because if you compare, let's say, Awakened Dragon X Star, the normal Dragon Killer, the Brave Human Killer. So they give us reason to change into Brave Shift. But for Pyroglacial as well, they are about the same, so maybe it's not that important. And like you can see, he only has 50% chance of Fatal Damage Protection, so mm, not that good. Another good thing about his Brave Shift is, like you can see that he has 12 Limit Burst Crystal Regen per turn, so that's the maximum number for Limit Burst Crystal Regen, but again, his LB may be not that good, you will see later, so let's take a look on his normal form abilities. The good thing about Laswell is, wow, he is very simple to use. He is an absolute mirror of equity chainer, okay? And his strongest skill is Blood Flash Revelation. It deals non-elemental damage, 98 times damage per cast. Yes, it is higher than Awakened Dragon Axtar. The good thing about this Blood Flash Revelation is it imperil two elements, fire and ice. So yes, maybe on his normal form, he cannot imbue himself with Ice Element, but remember, he is a true dual build character. So you only need to equip Ice Elemental weapon on one of your hand, and tada, you get Ice Elemental attack. And remember, because it also imperil fire and ice, if the enemy resist against ice then you can still use fire and get amazing 120% fire in peril and get benefit from that okay really amazing and he also able to imperil win but for win he only able to imperil 60% so not his main element and I can say that you don't need to bother with his old skills that's why if you awaken his uh, Awaken his abilities, you don't need to bother with active abilities. Simply focus on the passives, okay? Because what you need is only stats boost. Because you will never use them. The damage modifier difference are simply too great. For Granny's ability, it deals 80 times damage. So yes, it is slower than than your Blood Flash Revelation. The reason you use this Grandis ability is it has 80% defense break. So yes, you can multiply your damage by a lot. If let's say you don't bring Breaker who able to break defense, okay? But for harder trials, I think your main Breaker probably able to break all stats. So this one may be not that useful, okay? For limit burst, yes, it is CG limit burst, but wow, it is useless because even after the upgrade, it still deal really low damage. And you don't have any reason to use this, okay, because the Imperil is inferior compared to Blood Flash Revelation, so just forget using his LP, okay. Simply triple cast Blood Flash Revelation every time. 
but like Awakened Dragon XR, he uses lots of MP and luckily he has a cooldown ability which will recover 320 MP okay so that's quite good so use that combine that with this blood flash revelation so that's all about normal form now let's talk about brave shift so for brave shift i must say i have said this on the beginning there is no reason to become brave shift and like you can see that Yes, he is still Absolute Mirror of Equity Chainer, but this time the damage is lower, okay, 96 times damage. It is locked to Ice Element, and on this form, he doesn't have Ice in Peril. So, I mean, yeah, why do you need to change this, okay? Yes, you can imbue yourself with Ice Element, but yeah, he is a true dual wield character, so... I don't find Ice Imbue is that useful, okay? I prefer Ice Imperil for the true level character. But yes, maybe the reason, the advantage of this form is because you're able to imbue yourself with Ice Elemental. That means you can equip better weapon because let's say, let's take example for Katana, okay? One-handed Katana. The best one-handed Ice Katana is Hyomonto, okay? If I'm not mistaken, it is 120 attack. So if you use that katana, you will lose 60 attack if you have STMR katana. So maybe that's the reason for this form, but maybe it won't be that important, okay? And his grandest ability, it deals 120 times ice damage. Yes, it is nice, okay? It is the highest skill he has, but the effect, 150% LB damage. And yes, again, it's great. If you use his LB, you're gonna deal about 325 times damage if you don't. Minimum, okay, this is minimum damage you will deal after using this skill. And yes, it is not amazing at all. Sure, it is high, but if you compare it to other previous characters in terms of limit burst damage, he is not the best. And remember, he doesn't have any passive limit burst damage boost. Okay, so this grand ability only usable for once, so I think it's not worth. Simply use Blood Flash Revelation, okay? And yes, maybe this form also have 300% attack boost, so that can be useful if you need higher attack boost. So yeah, very easy, very simple, and I must say, very powerful chainer, and maybe, okay, maybe based not maybe based on damage modifier he is more powerful than awakened dragon axtar but remember awakened dragon axtar has better stats and yeah other thing to consider okay like he has dragon i mean he can become human killer so it offers you a little bit more flexibility and remember awakened dragon axtar attack is aoe damage that will be useful on some situation for example, it's like on this farming event. Okay, yes, maybe last well is more powerful single target attacker, but for farming, that awakened dragon axtar is better. So enough about the brave shift form. Now let's talk about equipment. So it is pretty easy to gear him. Okay, on standard form, simply max his true wield and attack boost. And it's very easy to do because he already has high stats. And like I say, because he cannot imbue himself with ice element, you need to equip ice or fire elemental weapon on him. Okay, and yes, maybe you say, oh, I will simply get imbue from your from his brave shift form. You can do that, but remember his brave shift form is not available from the first turn. You need to wait for Two turns if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, just equip ice weapon. Okay, on his brave shift form, this one is also good, but it is locked to ice elemental weapon. But I mean ice elemental attack, so simply equip most powerful weapon that you have on him. Okay, you don't need to bother with element. In fact, you don't want to equip other element than ice because you will become dual elemental attacker. Okay, and yes, the LB damage boost maybe 
good if you want to make him LB finisher but yeah please just stick with his chaining it is already very powerful okay if you really rely on limit burst then use Tifa because I find these two characters are really powerful but this last well is better chainer while Tifa is better finisher okay so enough about the equipment now let's talk about partner So for partner, of course, the best partner, the best partner is Awaken Dragon Axtar. Okay, both of them are Dragon Killer, so they are definitely useful on trial. Like I mean, not trial, like new official. Okay, where you cannot bring your friend character. Okay, and yes, Cloud is also good, but remember, unlike Awaken Dragon Axtar, this last well cannot imbue. Cloud with Ice Element. So yes, for Chaining Family, they match. But for Element, you need to think. I mean, or yeah, you need to imbue Cloud with Ice Element. And for other elements, of course, use these characters. But maybe they are not that important because he's true dual wield. So these two characters, Doctor Aiden and Rena, are only useful for the Imperial. Okay, don't forget about Luna Freya too. And he's basically just your standard chainer, so I think I, you cannot really that creative, okay? So simply pair him with another chainer, so yeah, and build party like usual. So in about partner, let's talk about abilities priority. So there are five abilities to level up, and the most important one is Blade Flash Revelation, because it is the most powerful skill that he has okay two imperil highest damage modifier awesome and for the second infested training because it increased 200 mp trust me guys if you spam that blood flash revelation your mp gonna be down so fast so that 200 mp gonna help you to stay longer okay and remember more mp mean better mp regen so yeah, it is easier to sustain your MP in term on the battle because if you use triple cast, triple blade flash revelation, you spend about 210 MP. So good luck on that. And the third ability is Fatal Bloom. So this is if you want to use his Brave Shift form. Okay, it is quite good, but locked to Ice Element. So my question is why do you even bother to use this simply use your blood flash revelation on normal form okay but maybe on some situation you need this then go ahead and on the fourth it is star guide so it is basically passive boost to his brave ship stats so make sure you awaken this okay and finally the last skill burning soul age mm, i think this one is not needed First, it deals 60 times damage, okay, and yes, it is the lowest, so yeah, the benefit from this skill is it will fill his limit burst, but again, like I said, you don't want to use his limit burst because it is just so, so normal, not that good, simply, yeah, normal, so yeah, why bother with this, save your resources, but if you have spare, you can spend on this. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all you need to know about abilities. Now, my conclusion for Pyroglacial last well, Neo Vision. So, first thing I really like is he is pretty simple. No need to imbue, no need to use some skill to increase damage modifier or something. Simply spam that triple blood flash reflection. Really good. And yes, that's it, okay, because I can say basically he is a chainer Tifa, really good, really good odd character, so for you who have him, I know back then you are kind of salty because his 7 stars form are not, that, he's not that good, but this time, wow, it is amazing, okay, one of the best uh, DPS for 5 stars to Neo Vision characters. The best is still Tifa, okay, but yeah, again, she is finisher, and now, last well, is Chainer. And maybe the thing I don't like is you need to awaken him, so maybe if you just starting play this game, 
then you need to spend lots of resources to make him really powerful or reach his potential and his trust master reward and stm are definitely not the best on the game for the trust master reward attack and health plus 30 percent that's good but i wish to use better ability like 60 percent attack this parrot sword man etc because the 25 percent lb gauge fuel rate is basically useless same for the stmr yes it gives you 174 attack and if i'm not mistaken it gives you asper bonus stats but mm, we can get free katana okay from gilgamesh if i'm not mistaken yeah muramasa and it's it is better because it has killers but this one the side effect if i'm not mistaken is another faster lbv rate wow not good Okay, so enough about Pyroglacial last well. I hope this review helps you. Please give a like and subscribe to my channel. Dislike if you don't like this and tell me why you don't like it. Because if you have like suggestion, please leave it in the comment because it will help other players. Okay, remember I'm just normal players like you. So if you have tips, please leave it in the comment. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Private Experience Guide. Bye-bye, guys.